Yep. Okay, perfect then. Um, so basically, uh, for for today's session, we would be discussing how to prevent the uh, Dave from committing the secrets and credential into the Git repos. Uh, so I'll be demonstrating the quick two tools, which is Talisman and the Truffle Hug. Uh, those are the open source tools which I'm going to demonstrate. This talk is just for a 10 minutes quick walkthrough on the tool and uh, demonstrate the capabilities which we, which we guys can use it out. Um, so basically, uh, before we get started, just a quick introduction. As I said earlier, I'm a DevSec mm -hmm. consultant, work for Accenture. I'm also a OWASP of a chapter leader. You can reach me out on the, uh, Twitter or LinkedIn or, or on my blog or kind of thing. So there are a couple of links which I had given on, on, on the same. Uh, the disclaimer for this session is that the, the opinion expressed over here in no relation to my client or employer or the, the projects or open source tools which I am I'm, I'm putting it out for the talk, which is specifically no recommendations kind of things. And and you can't totally reuse it out these things, whatever we are going to discuss, because uh, depends upon your culture of your, your development squad or kind of things. It, it, it may fit, it may not fit, but it's totally your responsibility to try this out thing in your in your dev environments, actually. So uh, so if, if you look at the uh, last couple of years development stack, uh, uh, specifically in the in the agile spectrum or cloud uh, uh, cloud journey for the most of the companies, uh, uh, folks are uh, folks are following it out the uh, very high DevOps methodology to deliver the software is very uh, very fast and uh, helping the uh, uh, helping the uh, business owners to develop the. Uh, deliver the softwares very quickly with the DevOps suite. So in, in the last couple of years, security guys also started pitching into this part and, and we are, uh, as a security guys, we are helping it out uh, to develop the security as part of pipeline. So for today's sessions, what we are going to discuss is, is the, the, the the first part is around today's uh, like kind of a develop, development machine securities or more of a something which we, we are, the development could, uh, development team could uh, leaks out the secrets as part of their machines or what they could uh, uh, do it to enhance the security for for overall uh, DevOps life cycle. So the, the focus is very, very tiny. And that's what we're going to focus for this. Uh, just guys, just a request, if you are not speaking, just go on mute. So that would be help it out for the session. Um, OK, so so basically, uh, uh, in last couple of, couple of years, if, if you look at the things, uh, uh, wherein, like we we had seen a couple of uh, uh, example uh, of, uh, wherein, like develop de developers by mistakenly uh, leaking the secrets over the uh, GitHub or Bit buckets or GitLab or uh, kind of any of the source code management systems. And what happened as the next story is that like uh, uh, the their API keys or their SSH keys or their uh, uh, their secret tokens get leaked over the uh, public internet and using a simple uh, door Google door queries. Uh, uh, somebody could find it out the uh, secrets which are available in the uh, in in the repo histories or kind of things. So basically, it is very important for uh, for development team to stop licking the secrets because if they stop licking the secrets, it would be beneficial for the for the overall team to to make sure that they they are, they are not licking some of the secrets. And sometimes by mistake, we we tend to uh, commit the secret, uh, secrets as part of source code. So in this talk, we are going to discuss how to stop leaking the secrets. So to start with one of the example, so I'm, I'm using a Truffle Hub tools, which is which is just to scan one of the repo. So I'm, I'm taking out one of the Netflix repo, and I'm, I just cloned the Netflix one of the repo, which is available over the internet. And uh, what I'm trying to do is that I'm trying to just run the Truffle Hub scan on, on top of that, which is just a reject scan, which I'm trying to use it out. So not the entropy scan. So if, if I just run the scan, and if you look at the results, which is available on one of the Netflix repo, uh, this repo looks like a test repo or whatsoever, but it, it is leaking the AWS secret, secrets key as part of the repo. So, so basically, um, by mistake, one of the developer who, who owned this particular Git repo, which is on, on the official Netflix uh, account, uh, somebody has leaked a couple of uh, uh, AWS key. This key could have been expired or whatsoever. I, I never attempted something which is which is available over the internet. But uh, basically, by simple running the one one particular scan, we could see that oh, Netflix one of the repo is something available uh, that leaking the AWS keys. So using the Truffle Hub sort of software or or kind of a, uh, a Python written this this Truffle is written in Python. Using that, we could 
easily identified what is getting leaked actually so if you just click on this link uh, you could identify actually uh, that there is a there is a commit there are various commits are available uh, which are leaking the secrets actually and it is just a very quick scan you can perform it out on on any git repo which is available and there is no debate most of the source code management softwares are using uh, the git methodology as of now so the people have moved out from svn to git uh, and and people most most of the devops team are using the uh, uh, git so that's the reason we are discussing on on a git specific things so if so to solve this kind of problem uh, what we could do it actually so so basically uh, if if you look at the if if you if you ever written the uh, uh, code which is something you want to push it out the git repo github gitlab or or, or any kind of a, a git sort of a softwares uh, what we generally do it from from the local machines we try to add uh, add a file and then commit the file and then push the file to the repo that's what it it's it's uh, that's what we've been doing for the any of the git repos so basically in a, in in a background there are a certain uh, hooks getting configured for each of the git uh, uh, git repos so let's say uh, as a as in uh, developer uh, I have a capabilities, or as a DevOps engineer, I have a capabilities to configure some of the hooks, which would be executed as part of a different events when when the when the when I push the repos uh, to to the to, to the remote machines or uh, to the remote locations, or if I do certain operations on the Git repo, there will be an event which I can configure in my local machines or in my my remote repo. So that could be that could be possible using the Git hook actually, and and uh, Git hook provides us the facility to configure some of the uh, some of the uh, some of the operations or some of the automation script or some of the test things which we could do it offline before we just push it out to the pipeline or we push it out to the something on the uh, remote server so basically let's say if you want if you're committing something we can we can we can configure the pre commit hooks which will be uh, invoked every time whenever we are doing the uh, certain sort of operation so git hook is a certainly a big topic if you want to learn about git hook you can just navigate to this link and you could you could look into more information but for today's sessions i'll be focus on pre commit hooks so what are we going to do is that, do is that we are going to configure the pre commit hooks in the git repo uh, any of the sample git repo and and there where we are going to run the scan actually so so whenever the, there will be new commit will be coming up we are going to scan using certain tools which will tell us, oh, oh there is a no secrets we are looking in as part of a git commit or kind of things so that's what we are going to do that but yeah uh, something you could always google it out what is git hook and how how it could be helped it out and kind of things actually so uh, under the, the tool which we are going to use it out for the for the demonstration purpose which is the talisman the talisman is a tool which is written by the thoughtbox guy thoughtbox is a, one of the product based companies they are having a nice tools which is available on on their github repos so it supports the mac os x linux and windows you could configure the git hook uh, uh, talisman git hook into the global or you could configure it out in the individual git repo also and you could start scanning it out during the various events so the talisman provide the git hooking in pre commit and push uh, uh, pre push hooks actually if you want to configure it out but again there is a disclaimer over here is that if you forcefully commit something this this particular thing can be can be omitted by the two, uh, like the scan wouldn't be performing so this is developer's choice to forcefully commit the things or they could they could do it actually so this is fairly possible developer can just forcefully say that no ignore ignore the scan don't do the scan or kind of things actually so there is a link over available over here you can navigate to there and how uh, just look out look it out the uh, read on uh, readme file and how to install the software and kind of thing that can be possible um okay so what sort of a test talisman does it actually so if you look at the talisman specs uh, which is available on on github so uh, uh, talisman checks out the encoded values like base 64 uh, different sort of hashes or there are some malicious uh, malicious secrets passwords api keys uh, let's say th there are a different sort of a file size there are large strings which is like with the large entropy and kind of things it also check it out the credit card numbers uh, it also checks some of the different extensions like like dot ssh file dot keys file dot pem file and kind of things so talisman talisman has a la very nice coverage you could just google it out and look out the things actually what talisman uh, provide as a test scenarios and you could conf configure it out uh, talisman also provide a fe feature uh, wherein we could uh, ignore the some of the uh, vulnerabilities let's say i won't say vulnerabilities but some of the secrets let's say uh, 
it it find it it find it out the dot pem file in in the scanning and if you want to if you if that is a false positive or you really wanted to commit as part of a git repo you could you could configure it in dot talisman file and that that could be the one of the copy paste thing you can do it in dot talisman file and that will be ignored every time whenever the uh, you commit something new thing actually also being a developer you have a capabilities to uh, to bypass the commit hooks actually so that could be possible so you could just do it no very fine you could just bypass it out so it is purely developer choice but uh, sometime it is something so that's the reason most of the time uh, server side hooks hooks are getting configured so it is uh, again developer choice to do that things so if there is a no question i can quickly jump into the demo is there any question so far okay i guess no any question guys no okay so i'm just getting into the demo quick demo Sorry, I, I have a just quick question how how you uh, exclude the files okay so so basically you need to declare the dot talisman rc file which will be in the root directory of your project and uh, which will be uh, so basically it will uh, talisman will split out the things like oh okay uh, this file if you want to ignore this particular vulnerability you just need to copy paste this particular checksum actually so basically uh, whenever there will be new secret will be identified there will be checksum will be given by the uh, by the talisman tool you just need to add that particular checksum and the file name in and in, into the dot talisman file so as part of a demo i'm going to show you how how you how you could do that actually so let me just showcase the demo and then i'll come back to your questions here, or or probably you wouldn't be having that question actually because it is fairly quick things actually to showcase the things and then then we could uh, relate that 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 theory uh, easily actually so if if you if you look at the demo right now i am just getting into the one of the git repo and wherein i am just listing listing it out the different file which are available i am creating a one dummy file which is having a secrets let's say i am i'm creating some of the uh, quick uh, secrets in the in the git uh, one of the git file one of the file in the git repo and i am just committing that particular so, sorry i am just saving that particular file and now i'm checking just checking the git status and trying to add that particular file into my git repo which is nothing but stage, staging it out the commits and when i try now i'm trying to commit the uh, basically to the that particular file into the uh, git repo uh, in locally so what what happened is the talisman already given me the error oh there is a secret which you are trying to commit why don't you look into that part so this is kind of alert which talisman gives it out to the developer so if you want to ignore that things you just need to copy paste whatever has spit up by the uh, by the talisman tool and if you try to commit it it will just ignore it that point of time so talisman gives the checksum of that things and you just need to add as part of a and there is a various way to ignore the things actually so you could you could uh, just uh, do it not little bit of regex things or there is a different various option which talisman gives it out you could ignore this uh, with different patterns or different files or different sort of arrays and kind of things so uh, just have a look at it on documentations how to how to ignore the issues but in a nutshell it just a checksum you just need to provide as part of a dot talisman file and this talisman file should be available in your local machines or it is available on on, on your remote uh, remote machine actually so wherever you are your remote repo sorry so that's that could be possible actually and that is fairly quickly and you now you could just configure this utility very quick and i i, I had been using it out for last one year of time and it is fantastic tool actually any any other question would you run that on a pipeline as well to ensure that anybody who snuck past your your configuration has uh, is caught yes yeah, so so we we run it we run it on pipeline also truffalugs we run it on pipeline uh, truffalug and we we do run the something which is a server side secure, server side hooks so as part of server server side hooks uh, which is something a remote hooks let me go back and uh, tell that things so if you look at the slide number 7 uh, basically uh, which talks about the server side hook so we could we could configure something at the server side so that nobody can bypass it out actually so that that could be possible and and again git hook is various things actually you could you could configure the blocking hook also you could configure non blocking hook also so if something is capable hooks that can be bypassed by the developer but something is blockable hooks that wouldn't be able to pass by the development team 
so you could configure that thing but yeah importantly it is it is it is good to have it as part of pipeline this kind of check so that uh, there, uh, nobody would be able to bypass uh, these things actually and it is important to just to know uh, not to have a secret in the git history and by 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 mistake somebody commit some secrets into git history there is a nice utility which is there i'll probably i'll tweet it out after the session actually so using that you can just rewrite the git history and you can remove the secrets from the git history and that is very important to uh, get rid of the uh, secrets in the git history also because it it contains that actually and it is difficult to rewrite the history from manually actually so that's what somebody need to do that any any other question okay so, yeah and, and the, this tool is this tool isn't a git tool it's a tool that looks for the secrets and you happen to have integrated it into a git based workflow yeah yeah so so basically git provide a facilities to to configure the hooks we are using we can use any any testing tool uh, to to invoke that kind of thing so we could we could write even bash scripts which can do this kind of things so git provide the hooking facility and we can integrate any tool uh, so basically there are various tools which we we could integrate as part, as part of these things so i had listed out couple of tools which i just explored it out while while uh, in, in last couple of year while doing a deus ex consulting work but uh, it is purely developer choice or or individual development team's choice to you know configure whichever tool they wanted to configure and not just this thing you could configure any functional test tool also if you don't want to put run out lots of money on running a slave machines for a jenkins or a bamboo or kind of a ci server you could run the test at, at your local machine itself and make sure you are delivering the delivering the right sort of code so you could you could write any test this is just an example which fits very good in terms of security but uh, it, it is fairly de development team choice to you know, configure any tool Ho hope that answers your question yeah that does go cool. nice okay then that's that's it from my side if you don't have any questions uh handing over to the wojavix for the next discussion <laughs>